hi guys and um, welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here my name is josephine and this channel is for everyone who wants to have some fun so if you're here for fun or you're here for a reaction video of you know mostly african songs then i'm the girl for you subscribe remember subscribe remember to comment i actually answer all my comments it's quite quite amazing i didn't reply to all my comments because i really love talking to new people so hello comment down below and you'll hear from me in today's video guys i am as you can see from the title i am here to actually try out um fasting you know i'm going to spend the weekend with my cousin who is a muslim and she's fasting and she's doing a really good job at it at the age of 15. <coughs> hello so it's like you know what I actually want to see if this is something for me. So I went online and figured out to find out what is Ramadan about. Yeah, playing. Because I want to know what I'm throwing myself into. I'm not only doing it for the fun of it, but I actually want to see if this is something for me. Now, let's jump straight into the definition of what is Ramadan. We'll just keep it short because probably some of you already know. And this video is mostly about my experience. How am I even going to get through this? I'm, I will start off with the three days because I heard the first five, three to five days are the worst. So that is what I will be trying out before we jump into the definition I would like to say today is actually Friday the 23rd of April and the Ramadan started actually on the 12th so I'm like a late late really late actually but better late than never you know what they say I, I'm not a Muslim but most of my family members like a majority of it are Muslim uh, also, I just want to say that this is me trying out fasting. It has absolutely nothing to do. I don't want to be disrespectful to anybody. Uh, Ramadan is the ninth month in the Islamic calendar where Muslims are restricted from drinking or eating. That is basically the basic, but let's dive deeper into this because I know there's like a lot more um, than definition that Google is giving me. So I will try to I have tried to analyze that and just find a few sentences that actually made sense. Apart from being restricted from eating and drinking, you are apparently also restrict, restricted from having any sexual um, relations. I mean, I don't have that anyway, but any sexual relations. So that's quite interesting. Um, but Ramadan is also about Ramadan is also a time of uh, spiritual reflection, which is really something that I really and truly need. But it also a time for our uh, self improvement. Hello, um, devotion and worship. I really do need that as well. But Muslims are expected to put more effort into into what effort into following the uh, teaching of Islam. Um, now, I don't know much about, about the teaching of Islam, but I have my 15-year-old uh, cousin who has been my mentor for the past 24 hours. Um, so I will be looking for advices from her. Basically, so again, you were supposed to be fasting from the sunrise to sunset. So no drinking, no doing all of that. Now, yo, can you not, can you guys imagine? Can, can, you, can you believe, not imagine, can you believe that now it's 745 right and i have been fasting the entire day literally the entire day my voice is gone because i'm so hungry um and we only have like 45 minutes i'm not home yet though. but i was in my workplace and i made a sandwich i'm a lactose intolerant but i was like i need anything that i can get a milkshake as you can see i have it back here and i have everything that i really need because i am hungry but i don't think i'll be able to eat as much but yeah literally i'm just uh, so excited i actually made it through the first day i like almost made it through the first day i'm not there yet we're literally i'm waiting for six minutes yeah you guys this six minutes feels like forever honestly at this point i feel like what I really want is just a glass of water, honestly, not even food. I just want water, like literally just water. I can't even get that. You got me thinking, what about the people who actually can, like, they don't have clean water, you know? The people who actually sort of, they are surviving, like, forget me, like, I can get water any given second, clean water even. But the ones that, those who can get water and those who get water but it's not clean you know really today has got somehow helped me reflect over my life honestly you know sometimes when you don't have anything else to do other than suffering it you know, because you're hungry um then i get you thinking in a way that you never really thought you'd be thinking 
I just want to drink a glass of water. Like that's basically it. Of all the things that I could be wishing for today, for right now, a glass of water is literally it. Then I can think of food after drinking the water. Like man, we really have to appreciate the life that we have because I don't think I will ever be out here just wasting water anyhow from today on at least because guys i made it through the first day can you imagine like this needs to be celebrated with this babe like i missed it more than anything ah oh, you don't understand but Whew, thank god oh mm. i needed that more than anything on this earth honestly forget money i really needed the water like oh it just hits different it hits so differently like i understand it oh i feel like my face is shining already just for drinking water because in my entire life my whole entire life i never really thought that i never really thought of water the way i thought of water today just just imagine you being in love with somebody and you thinking of them constantly. That's why I was like, oh my god. That was like my only goal. I was like, I can't wait to make it so I can drink water. Not even food. No, I can eat food. No. My only thought was like, I just, I can't wait for 8.33 so that I can drink water. But I will go ahead and start eating my sandwich now because I'm starving. You guys don't understand how great that is. I don't know why I decided to buy a sandwich, or I didn't buy it, but to have a sandwich for iftar, but don't mind me. I just had to place my camera somewhere. Right now, I'm so starving, so I guess I will have to finish my food and drink my soda as well. Unhealthy on top of unhealthy, and then I uh, guess I'll see you guys next time. The sandwich that I ate was like literally knocked me out. I just went to sleep right after. And right now it's 6 o'clock in the morning. And it's quite bright outside about 6 o'clock in the morning. And I have to get ready for work. Um, yes, yeah, so I basically have to, I have to go to work in like 2 or something. And then after work, I'll just take a nap. Then we'll get to see you guys there. Guys, guys, guys. It's now almost eight o'clock at uh, 7 55 and i am starving so i finished work at two and got home at at two at one i got home at 2 30 and i went straight to bed with this one you're so fat i went straight to bed yeah and i woke up like 40 minutes ago and went out to buy candy and some unhealthy stuff with my little cousin now we're back and i'm literally just waiting praying to god like i don't even have the energy to cook that is like the, sh the crazy part i don't have the energy to cook right now i'm willing to eat whatever is ready and what's ready is a pizza <laughs> what i have the energy for is literally buying a pizza so that's basically what we are going to do because my sister there she's also fasting so she's basically my second mentor in this thing um yeah, like my eyes, I'm craving butter chicken, but they, they will take forever and I'm too hungry to wait, so I will just settle for whatever. And I think butter chicken, inshallah, will be what I might eat tomorrow, because that is technically my last day. Yesterday, I was literally just thirsty, right? The entire day. Today, I will not even be thirsty, but I'm starving. Like, I'm literally, literally, I feel like 
Hmm? It's crazy. It is mad how hungry I am. Age 37 was the keyword. Man, I was thirsty. Actually, I'm hungry as well. But well, us thirsty, but hungry. And the food is finally here. Day. Three days, which is also the last day of my fasting journey, and it has been hard. It has been very, very hard, like literally. Right now is 6:26 p.m. Um, I wasn't able to film in the morning because I woke up at 5:55 and had to be at work at 8. I was there at 7:30 for some unknown reasons, and then I had worked like one got here around 2 2 30 and i literally took a nap to like 30 minutes ago so i have been quite busy and yeah so right now i'm just waiting for <laughs> i'm somehow excited but today i'm not as hungry as i was the first like yesterday and i'm not as thirsty as i was oh, as i was the first day um but but <clears throat> but i can say that this shit has been hard it's really oh i'm not supposed to be cursing Okay. I've tried really really to control my words for the past three days um, But I can say that it has been really really hard um, It's not something that I'm used to it's already something that will ever get used to and don't mind my hair I look crazy right now I just woke up like I said and um, Yeah, so I'm just excited. I'm, I'm about to be ordering food because again just like the first two days I have absolutely no energy to stand in the kitchen like no, thank you So it's 8:45. And you know what time is it? Oh that it just hits differently every time, honestly. I didn't miss you as much as I did the first day though, but it was nice. <laughs> So conclusion after day three. This is actually day four, but I did not really fast today. Um, I ended up being way too busy when I got home. I was too tired and too hungry. I'm like, you know what? I cannot come and go and kill myself. So I decided to eat something and took a nap and just woke up now. <clears throat> Anyways, so about my conclusion, don't mind my appearance right now, guys. I look like shit. I look like shit, but that's not why here. So you have to deal with whatever you can see. Um. So what I learned about the Ramadan, I really learned to discipline myself. I really learned to appreciate the little things in life, you know. I literally learned to appreciate water. Hey, can you imagine? Of all the things, I learned to appreciate water. I learned to appreciate food. You know, I self-improvement in that area because I'm really good at throwing food out. I'm really good at just standing in the shower like for 40 minutes. You know, after doing all the other things, like mm, half of the time, literally, just wasting water. So I literally learned to somehow, like, self improvement, self control. Call it, call it what you want, right? I feel like I also learned to this. This might sound dramatic, but I learned to literally see life from a different perspective. Because I feel like most of the time I will be out here, like, just not caring. You know the little thing that i have i'm just go ahead and use and abusing it yeah so that was it for this video guys i know the end of this video is unusual because i'm literally laying down in bed because i am so exhausted i'm about to take my nap um but thank you for watching and i do appreciate you remember subscribe like and comment and come with a suggestion what you would you like to see next because i'm making these videos for you guys really literally i'm not even joking and other than that, I love you.